just a young punk rock kid that knows what's going on. An everlasting life is a free gift to all those who repent and trust in him. You know, I think I believe all religions are the same. As long as I'm here to help other people, I don't hurt other people. This lady named Kat believes that there should be a heaven and a hell because it's right for there to be some kind of a payback day. But in fact, she believes all religions basically teach the same thing and you'll be okay as long as you don't hurt anybody. Watch this. I first believed there was a heaven and hell, but now I don't know what to believe. Uh, what stopped you believing there's a heaven and a hell? Because I see a lot of people that are, you know, not doing what they're supposed to do and they're absolutely fine, so... You mean hypocrites? Oh, I hear you. You're saying people lie you know, and kill and rape yeah. and they don't get judged by God. Yeah, but um, I hope there is a heaven or hell or something that, you know, there, sh there should be a payback, definitely. You mean people that do things wrong should be punished? Or right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Or right. I always have this conversation with people that some people believe there is. Some people say, no, this is life. This is where you pay back. But I don't think it's fair. So definitely. Yeah, right. This life know, isn't fair. So there should be a payback, whether it's good or bad. So how are you going to do on the payback day? I hope I do good. You think you're a good I, person? I don't hurt people. Well, if you were in big trouble, would you like to find out so you can get out of that trouble? I definitely would, yeah. Okay, Kat. Let me show you how much trouble you're in, okay? <laughs> how many lies do you think you've told in your life? Oh, a lot. What, ten? More. So what do you call someone who tells lies? A liar. Have you ever stolen something in your life? No. Now I can't believe you because you just told me you're a liar. <laughs> in your whole life ever taken something small that belongs to somebody else? No. Okay. Have you ever used God's name in vain? Mm. I heard you before. Maybe. Yeah, it's Maybe called I'll... blasphemy. We use God's name as a cuss word. It's very, very serious. One more no, to go. No, I don't think as a cuss word, no. I heard you use it before. You have? Yeah. <laughs> and it's very serious. It's called blasphemy. Now Jesus said if you look with lust, you commit adultery in your heart. Have you ever looked at someone with lust? Yes, I have. Okay, here's a little summation. You haven't stolen, but you're a liar, a blasphemer, and an adulterer at heart, and you have to face God on Judgment Day. So if he judges you by those Ten Commandments, innocent or guilty? Um, well, I don't believe that if I look at somebody with lust, I will go to hell. I don't well, believe in that. Um, as long, I, I think as long as you don't hurt other people, you know what your purpose is here in life. And do you know what you're doing? far as what? In life? You're justifying yourself. Ah. See, what we do is this, and this is a Bible verse. Jesus said, you are they who justify yourselves before men, but God knows your hearts. For that which is highly esteemed among men is an abomination in the sight of God. That means we think lying's okay, but the Bible says lying lips an abomination to the Lord because his standard is one of perfection, moral perfection. And he sees deceitfulness is very serious. He sees murder is very serious. Hatred is very serious. Lust, fornication, and adultery and blasphemy is very serious. Um, you know, I was brought up in a country where me showing my hair, I would go to hell. But, it, you know, that's how I was raised. Well, here is your glory, the Bible says. So you can show you here in public. You know, I think I believe all religions are the same. As long as I'm here to help other people, I don't hurt other people. But what happened to your judgment day that you want to happen? I think if I'm here, if I help people, if I'm a good person, me... But you're not. You're like the rest of us. You're a liar <laughs> and a blasphemer and an adulterer at heart. See, what I'm trying to do is show you your disease so you'll want the cure. As long as you mm. deny you've got a disease, you'll never want the cure. And I'm trying to convince you that morally you're diseased like the rest of us. It's very hard to see, but you turn inwardly and look at your own heart, listen to your conscience, you'll know you've sinned against God. I don't want you to end up in hell. I want you to be forgiven. And God is forgiving, but there is a basis for His forgiveness. And the only way God can forgive is through someone trusting in the Savior, Jesus Christ, because He died on the cross took our punishment. Have you heard that? Yes. Well, when he was on that cross, he was paying the fine for your sin so that you could leave the courtroom, so that God could legally commute your death sentence. That's what happened. God can give you everlasting life if you repent and trust him who suffered for you and rose again on the third day. That's the gospel truth. I wouldn't lie to you. Even though I don't know you, I care about you and I care where you'll spend eternity. Have you ever read the Bible? Uh, not the whole thing, some parts. Have you ever read any of it? A little bit. What past did you read? I don't remember. I was just curious. I looked at it. I'm not Christian. Well, please check out the Gospel of John. It's God's word to you. If you have the word of a king, you've got a high authority. Word of a president, high authority. We have the word of God, so make sure you open it and search the scriptures. Thank you so much for talking Thank to you. me. Thank you very much. Can I give you a gift?
Learn how to share your faith biblically. Each week, we send out a free ministry update, and it contains a short video clip. Ray finds colorful characters, he witnesses to them, and then I chalk talk the clip. Here's some samples. Do you believe in God? Of course. I believe God actually learns through us. That, there's a heaven right here. Multiple times a day, God hugs me. What planet are you living on? I have no problem standing before the Lord as I am. After seeing new clips each week and understanding the biblical principles behind them, you will end up saying, I could do that. There's no charge for the update. Just go here and sign up here and we'll send it to you every week. For God so loved the world that He gave His only forgotten Son. Also, while you're there, check out the School of Biblical Evangelism. The School of Biblical Evangelism is a full-blown online evangelism course. It'll help you overcome your fears. It'll help give you the answers to the 100 most commonly asked questions and objections to the Christian faith. You'll find details on livingwaters.com.